First, I wish to begin with my gratitude to Comer Yates and Sandra Mims of the Atlanta Speech School, who asked me to give you, the reader, a brief introduction to my new work, Reader Come Home, A Reading Brain in the Digital World, with this video. It is not meant to be professional, but rather something personal. A tiny gift to me, a new letter, to you to introduce you to my work. Letter two is my studious child. I wrote it with the hope that everyone will come away with an understanding, a fresh understanding of the unbelievable complexity of the reading brain, the reading brain circuit, and the fact that it can be formed in different ways. In my first book, Proust and the Squid, The Story and Science of the Reading Brain, I began with the sentence, we were never born to read. And that really is the essence of how we want to begin to understand the reading brain circuit. And I use a kind of whimsical device, if you will. Uh, and that is, I use a circus, not a three ring circus, but a five ring circus. And I use it as a way of helping you understand the beautiful parallel processing of what goes on when that reading brain circuit comes into being. But it is a circuit that is very influenced by three different factors that make no reading brain circuit the same in any language. But language is indeed a piece of it. Depending on the kind of language, the kind of writing system you have, a circuit will reflect the emphases of that writing system. So that's factor one, what the particular reading language is. The second is how is that reading brain influenced by how it's educated? So how we teach has very important, um, very important implications for how that reading brain circuit develops over time. But that third factor is the digital world how the mediums that are being produced, and we, we, we will certainly have digital screens that we are talking about in, in this book, in the last third of the book, um, but what I want you to realize is that whatever the medium is, there are implications for how that circuit operates. So that an understanding of this reading circuit will give everyone a renewed appreciation for the miracle it is when any human being develops reading from the start. It is an amazing and almost what I call semi-miraculous function of our brain to go beyond its own functions by rearranging the ones that exist to create something new. Now this makes us appreciate our children but also our children's diversity and why it is both really an exciting adventure when reading begins, but it is no surprise when there are struggles to learn to read, as in our children who are neurodiverse, in, um, in challenges that, like dyslexia, represent not anything about intelligence, but a different organization of our brain that existed well before our reading was ever invented by the species. 